Hey friend, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Femke and I am a product designer that makes videos about design and research. And today in this video, I wanna walk through a cool little app that just came out recently called Design Camera. A colleague of mine shared the link to this app in our team group chat and I've taken a quick look at the website and it looks pretty cool. It seems like it's a neat little tool for quickly creating high fidelity and visual mock-ups of your design. So you can actually get the design into a device frame and kind of customize some settings there to make it look super cool. And I think this is super interesting for using to quickly render out high fidelity visuals of your design to use maybe in presentations or things like that where you wanna showcase the design. Okay, let's jump now into a design camera that I have open over here. Now, at a first glance, this looks pretty easy to use. I can see a device frame in the middle and it looks like I can drop in my design straight onto the canvas here. Let's give it a go. Nice, it added it in, which is pretty cool, but it looks a little bit stretched. I think the actual frame size of this design is an iPhone 8 and it looks like we've got an iPhone 10 here. I would like to change the device if I could. I often design actually for Android first because most people in the world use Android and I design a lot for drivers at Uber who mostly use Android phones. So it would be nice if I could change this to a Android device just so that it matched my designs, but I'm sure they're working on it and it'll come soon. Looks like I can change the background, which is really nice. Also add a custom color, so maybe you have a brand color or something you wanna add as a background. You can also change the color of the phone. Let's leave it as black for now, it's pretty classy. Turn shadows on and off. Oh, and this looks nice. I can also change it to a clay device. So if I don't want something that looks so realistic, I can use sort of a more flattened approach, which is quite nice. Looks like I can also add a multi-screen view. So I don't know, maybe if you have a flow or multiple apps that you want to show, you can put them side by side, which is pretty cool. Okay, over the top here in looks, it looks like I can show different views. So, ah, nice. Maybe if you want to highlight something at the bottom of your screen or the top, or you want it to be on a fancy angle, uh, you can also change the angle yourself as well, which feels kind of weird. Oh, the reflection is really nice. Looks like we get a realistic view on the back there, which is cool. I don't know why it's floating to the side. Let's get it back, yeah, front and center. I think if I click on snapshot, oh yeah, I can create an export of it. So let's try export to PNG, chuck it on the desktop. Cool, so it has exported it into a PNG, which now if I wanted to, I could drop that into a design presentation or post it wherever it's gonna go. Let's check out animation. Looks like we have some preset animations here. If I click on play, uh, we get a fancy twist. It's nice to see some pre-configured animations here. I often want to show my designs in a like more moving kind of environment, so I often try and create GIFs, but it's gonna be really hard and a lot of work for me because I'm not really a motion designer, so Having these available already templated is pretty nice. So it looks like I can press record and then play one of these and I'm assuming it will spit it out as a movie. Let's check it out. Pretty fancy. So that's nice to export as a GIF or something and use in a presentation. It looks like you can also set up manual animations if you want to, so I could maybe like move this around and add another animation and as I play these, yeah, there we go. It will <laughs> weirdly transition between them. I need to practice this, obviously. I think for the time being, these uh, preset templated ones are pretty nice and should be enough to kind of give the viewer a overall good grasp and look of the look and feel of your work. Okay, and then lastly we have this lens tab over here, which it looks like I can add some blur maybe to some certain areas if I wanted to highlight a certain area in the design. I'm not exactly sure what that's changing, but okay. 
One thing would be nice to kind of like zoom in and out. I'm not really sure how I can, I kind of get lost in this infinite canvas here. That would be super nice. It would also be nice if I could set the dimensions of the export. Looks like it auto exports to a certain size. You know, maybe I want to check this on Dribbble or something. So it could be nice if they had templated export dimensions. So that would make it super easy. You can also change the environment here, which adds some variety to the reflections and kind of allows you to have a bit of control over how you want the sort of look and feel of your render to be. Okay, so that's a first look at Design Camera. I think this is a really neat tool that will make it really easy for designers to quickly create high fidelity mockups of their design, used for presentations, used to show stakeholders, used to show featured work. And it's nice that you can automatically create a snapshot of it and also record it and have these little motions in it, which kind of really adds to the look and feel of your design. A few things I'd like to see are support for other device frames. It'd also be nice to have a little bit of control over how you want your export to be configured, maybe being able to change the dimensions or something like that. And also maybe being able to add a custom background instead of just a plain color would be super nice but they do give the option to export it on a transparent background. So I guess then you could drop it into Figma or whatever design tool you use and add the custom background there yourself. A little bit of extra work, but hey, it works. One of the things I like about being a designer is there's always these new tools and apps designed and created to help design its workflow. And I think this one is pretty cool. So let me know what you think. If you've tried it, let me know what your experience was. And otherwise I'll see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.